Hello everyone, and today we're going to take a brisk walk through the process of installing an application onto Bunsen Labs, uh, creating a menu item for our newly installed application, and also creating a key binding for the application so that it can be launched from the keyboard. This of course is Bunsen Labs distribution, but you can do this on any open box uh, installation and you'll get uh, the same results. So let's choose an application. Uh, I've already decided that we'll try installing the GNOME calculator, rather confusingly named Galculator, but uh, who on earth thinks up these names, I don't know, but there we are. Uh, we're gonna use the terminal to install this, not the GUI application. So here's a terminal. So sudo at install, and the name of the application is Galculator into that password and a few moments later application is installed so step one we've installed our application now of course being open box that does not show in our menu because our menu is a static menu it's not a dynamic menu so ordinarily if you were to install a calculator application typically that will show under your accessories category nothing there or your office category nothing there so we need to add that to our open box menu so to do that open the menu come down here to preferences you need open box and then you come down here to menu editor that will launch a program called ob menu and this is ob menu now this displays the uh, menu items we already have installed and it also allows us to modify that so we can add a menu we can add an item to a menu we can add a separator, we can change the order in which the items appear or remove an item there. And lastly, we've got save here in the top left hand corner. So we are going to add this uh, newly installed program to I think our accessories is probably the best category for that. So we'll come down here to you see here accessories. We we'll just expand that down. Now these are the existing items within our accessories. So just plonk our cursor somewhere in there, select an item, click new item we need to give it a name I would suggest as it's a calculator we call it calculator and not calculator uh, default action item is execute and that's uh, that's what we want because we want the uh, application to be launched to be executed when we select it from our menu so leave that as, uh, as execute and the command the command is the name of the application so that's the name of the application that we need to run when we execute it from our menu and that is usually just the name of the item so the item we've installed is calculator so calculator we hit save up here now before we do that we can change the order in which these things appear as i said so at the moment it's appearing the third item down here um, and we can shift that down further or move it up uh, but for these purposes we'll leave it here below drop terminal so I'm going to click save and we can quit and now when we select our menu and we come down to accessories calculator is now appearing uh, in our menu and uh, fingers crossed if we've done this correctly our calculator will appear when we select it so that's step two step three is to add a key binding uh, now Bunsen Labs very very uh, kindly provide us with a menu item for key bindings it's down here display key binds um, and there's an item here which says backup and edit rc.xml rc.xml is, uh, is the file which contains all of the key bindings um, and mouse bindings and various other uh, con configuration items within the system so very helpfully when we select this Bunsen Labs takes a snapshot of backup of the existing file so if we make an error here we can actually revert to the previous file um, to get ourselves out of trouble now what you see when you go in here you'll see that um, a number of key bindings are already displayed and these will be items that either came default with the distribution or which we've added over time um, the pattern is identical um, and you'll see that it says action key bind which is describing what the item actually is um, the key combination which you'll usually see as a w stroke a letter so w is simply the windows key or the super key and the letter is the uh, the, the follow-on letter on the keyboard that you would actually press in order to launch the application uh, so in this instance for example here we've got ws 
that launches the Spotify application as you can see here. So all I would suggest we do here is we just replicate one of these entries. So we'll take it from where it says action here. We'll go down to the last item here where it launches the command, which here is Spotify. And we're going to, going to copy this. And we're going to create a new entry. And we're going to paste. So literally all we've done is we've copied this section here into the section below. Uh, because the, the, the the process is going to be the same it's just that we're launching a different application so all we're going to do here is we're going to change the key bind so we don't want the s to launch this because it's launching spotify we'll um we'll select c c for calculator so super key or windows key w c is our selected letter to launch calculator execute is correct because we want it to execute the application um, it's no longer spotify it's now calculator and also down in here we've got command this is the command that's going to be executed and again that needs to say calculator and now we need to save so we'll come up here and save and we can close our text editor now at the moment if we try to enact that keybind so super C, and nothing's going to happen. Nothing's going to happen because the system is running and it hasn't refreshed. So it's relying on the existing configuration file which is loaded um, and it doesn't realize that we've actually modified that. So what we need to do now is we need to come down here to preferences, to open box, and we need to restart open box. And now, fingers crossed, super key C, launches our calculator. So there we are, step three. So that's how you install a program using the terminal, add it to the menu, and add a key binding. So I hope you found that useful. That was a nice brief video, and I'll see you again in the next one. Thanks for watching.